بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله رب شرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل العقدة من لسان يفقه قولي السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته وعليكم السلام ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله ما شاء الله So everybody can see the blue PowerPoint screen Tajweed Lesson 6 Yes Yes Yes, yes. Wonderful Always, and Sultan, Anas Sultan, do you have a question? I can see you are raising your hand before we start. Uh, can I read uh, the word? Of course. Since you took the initiative, I really like that. Go ahead, brother. Rabbana khtirli wali wali daya. And then? It's not finished. Wali al Uh-huh. Okay. okay, this is what we are talking about, that background noise, inshallah. If you can try to isolate it, try your best, um, that would be great. Uh, good job, good job, Ois, good job, mashallah. Uh, anyone else want to try also, again? Farzana? Yes. رَبَّنَا اغْفِرْ لِي وَلِوَالِدَيَّ وَلِلْمُؤْمِنِينَ يَوْمَ يَقُومُ يَقُومُ الْحِسَابُ الْحِسَابُ وَ يَوْمُ الْحِسَابِ There is no such thing as a وَلِلْمُؤْمِنِينَ حِسَابُ حِسَابُ The last word how to read There's something wrong with my tajweed <laughs> No it's not nothing wrong with your tajweed you just forgot one letter يوم يقوم الحساب الحساب حساب okay. ah. so uh, the, the clearer the clearer uh, writing here أعوذ بالله شيطان الرجيم ربنا اغفر لي ولوالدي وللمؤمنين يوم يقوم الحساب Oh Lord our Lord ربنا forgive me and my parents and all the believers on the day when the reckoning will be established Reckoning or judgment, hisab. So this is a nice dua we can make from the Quran for our uh, parents and the believers, um, especially because we are approaching Ramadan. We can learn dua, inshallah, to make on the on our daily or evening prayers, and also on Laylatul Qadr, inshallah. So that's good if you can read it, mashallah, wonderful. And today. We are going to, first of all, before we start our new lesson, we are going to do a quick recap. So we are still, we are still in the topic of Noon Sakina and Tanween. So Noon Sakina is the Noon, the Noon that has a Sukun on top of it. And Tanween, as you know, is one of three types of uh, sounds with doubling of uh, Harakat, Fatha, Dhamma, Kasra that produce an, un, or in. So I want to ask you, and please, as usual, raise your hand if you know, uh, then we can actually proceed. First question, what is nun sakina? I just told you. Raise your hand if you know. All right, let me see, because maybe some people have raised hands. No one so far? If you know, you can raise your hand, don't be shy. Farzana, okay, let me ask Anik because Anik I haven't participated yet and then I come back to Farzana. Anik? Yeah, sure, sure. It's a, the letter noon with a sukun on top. Beautiful, mashallah. Good job, Anik, very nice. Now, Farzana, I give you a chance to answer the second question, inshallah. What is tanween? Tanween with, oh. With two zabar, two zabar, two feet. That's okay. I Sorry. understand what you mean. That's okay. <laughs> forgot, yeah. I forgot the fatha, uh -huh. kasra, fatha, kasra, dhamma. Very good. Very good, sister. So we, we can say fathatain or kasratain or dhammatain. Okay. Ain is, um, is the actual suffix. The word ending for uh, two things. Rajulain, imra'atain, dhammatain, fathatain, kasratain, everything in pairs or twos. Okay, very good, Farzana, mashallah, sister Farzana, very good. Uh, 
what is uh, what is um, how many rules involve uh, the nun sakina and tanwin in total? We have only covered one last week, but there are actually how many in total? If you know, you can raise your hand and ask and, and tell me. Do you know? Um, Anas Sultan. Anas or <laughs> Anas is the son of Brother Sultan. So let this, let's see if he knows, or maybe Brother Sultan can help. <clears throat> uh, I think a way to the answer. Okay, sure. It's all good. Uh, when, uh, when after a noon second, uh -huh. Oh, I know what you mean. You are, you're actually making the rule from last week. But I'm saying, how many rules in total? Do you remember the chart? There was like a, a visual chart I, I provided. How many rules in total are there for noon second and ten week? One, two, six. Do you know? 14, 14, 14. Four. There are only four. Only four. Okay, Arba. So the rules are Idhar, Ikhfa, Iqlal, and what's the other one? Idhar, Ikhfa, Iqlal, and Idhram. Idhram. Okay. So I'm sorry, I actually answered that question already. The next question. So we have four rooms. Idhar, the one we saw last week. Idhar, and Iqlab. Okay. So the one we learned last week, what is it called? Farzana or someone else? The one last time is Izhar. Izhar. Yeah, Izhar. Izhar, not Izhar. Izhar, right? Is a law actually? Law. Salat al Dhuhr. Is hard. Is hard. Okay, and then the last question before we start um, the uh, the actual teaching. What are the two tips we learned about? I can't see anything. Okay, please raise your hand. Don't shout like that. <laughs> if you have a question, raise your hand. Don't don't because everybody else. We've done it four times. Four times. Oh, I don't think it's on my side. Okay, now I can see it. Okay, alhamdulillah. All right. So let me show you the tips for um, for nun sakina and tanween. So look, first we start with nun sakina or nun sakin. You can say nun sakin or nun sakina. When you see this, you can see there is a sukun, right? Right. Yeah. Yes. yes. Okay. When you see the sukun, then you need to do adhar. Okay. When you don't see the sukun, like for this case, you see there is no sukun on top, then you can you should not do adhar. You understand? That's the tip. It's an easy tip. In the mushaf, it's always, always, always like that. When you open your mushaf, when you see a sukun on top of the noon written down like that, circle, it means there is adhar 100%. If you cannot see idhar, then it means it's either iqlab or ikhfa or idgham, one of the other three. But it's definitely not idhar. You got the tip? You got the tip? So any mushaf yeah. you open and you see a nun sakina with on top of it a sukun, then you must apply idhar. That's the easy way to find it. Okay, so let's go for the tip for tanween. When you see this, this type of tanween, you have to apply idhar. You see those tanween are actually very close or tight. Once you see them separated a bit like this, sorry, like this, once they are separated, then you're not going to do idhar. It will be another type, ikhfa or idram uh, type of uh, rule okay so this is idhar type of tanween this is non idhar type of tanween okay it's very consistent across the mushaf did you know this before no 
he didn't know all kinds. And you just get used to the different types of strokes. And they are obviously they are quite different, you see. Now I'm paying attention to these. Yeah, exactly. At least, at least my <laughs> class is helpful for something. Yeah, it's useful. <laughs> it's very meaningful. I have seen this for the first time, and really now I have started paying attention, and I can see them clearly now. Alhamdulillah. So actually, when we write in Arabic, it has a meaning. It's not just for decoration, right? <laughs> there is a meaning behind these char print characters that you see in the Quran. Okay, alhamdulillah. Sure. So I'm happy you, uh, everyone can actually take care of this. Okay, so uh, today we will learn a new rule, a second rule. Uh, I make it second, but in Tajweed they make it third, but I want to teach it second because it's an easy rule after the, the one we learned last week. And this is called Iqlab. So last week is Ivhar, and now we can call it Iqlab, or people, some people call it Qalb. qalb. So People in Tajweed science, they call it either iqlab or qalb, okay? And what is the meaning of iqlab? Can you raise your hand if you know? If you know the answer, go ahead. You can raise your hand. Uh, Anas or Sultan or Awais? Yes, this is actually plural form of qalb. Again, sorry, brother. Plural form of qalb. Qalb. Oh, oh, very good, very good. MashaAllah, barakallahu feek. So you are right, it's related to the word qalb. And qalb is the heart. Qalb means heart. It's something that changes or turns from one side to the other. You see the qalb is the heart. It's changing like hate, anger, happiness, always changing. Do you see the animation? I just want to show you that. It goes up, it goes down, it changes. It's always changing, the heart, subhanAllah. We are not machines, right? We always have different moods. We can be happy, we can be sad. And that's the meaning of iqlab, because iqlab is transformation. We are basically transforming something into something else. We are transforming one sound into another sound, okay? So if we actually focus a little bit now on the rule itself, we are basically taking the noon sakina or tanween. And once that noon sakina meets ba, harful ba, it will become a mean. You got it? So if you see this visual here, the colorful visual, whenever a noon sakina or a tanween meets a ba, it changes into a mean. That is qalb or iqlab. You got the rule? You got the theory? Yes. Just okay. a question. Yes. Is the Go word ahead. qibla related to the word iqlab as well? Um, no. Qibla, okay. qibla. Because qibla is qaf, ba, lam. So there is an inversion of lam and ba order. Okay. So they are not related uh, etymologically. Uh, excuse me, sir. Would you please explain more? Didn't get it. Of course, no problem. So when we have a tanween or a noon sakina, right? In a word. Yep. And mm -hmm. we have following that tanween, <clears throat> for example, um, we have a bat. That follows it. Okay. Ba, the harf of ba, the letter ba. Then, in certain situation, situations, this ba becomes a meme. Instead of, it's pro not pronounced like ba, it's pronounced like meme. You oh, okay. Got it. It changes oh, completely. Okay. SubhanAllah, right? So it means the letter mm -hmm. is going to be affected. This ba is going to change into a meme. Okay. Now that's the theory, but we need to see how it looks like. Okay. Now in Arabic, for people who are, uh, you know, who want to memorize Tajweed easily, there's always a trick or always uh, a way to memorize it in your mind. Like Qutbujad. Qutbujad is just a fast way to remember Qaf, Ta, the Jim, Dad. But for people who want to memorize, وَالثَّالِثُ الْإِقْلَابُ عِنْدَ الْبَاءِ 
So this translation, the translation of this rule is the third rule of Nun Sakina and Tanin is Iqlab, which occurs with the letter Ba, which is converted to Mim and pronounced with Ikhfa. But this is just a way to remember it. Don't worry about it. It's just uh, the actual rule written down for us or spelled out. I want to show you is just it an like example. the word Ambiya. Oh, mashallah. Very good. Very good. Because <laughs> sometimes I see it says Anbiya, so I am confused. And other times uh -huh. I hear Ambiya. Yeah. You, you actually give a good example, mashallah. You have it in mind. It's good. Jazakallah khair. Uh, now, let's, we are going to see more examples, like you said. So here is, again, the rule of Iqlab. It has three different steps, okay? And it always involves the letter Ba, which comes after Tanween or Nun Sakina. So step one, the Nun or Tanween is converted into a Mim. <coughs> step two, the Mim is hidden. And step three, the Mim is recited with Unna, okay? It sounds complicated. I'm sure you feel, you feel a bit confused because whenever mm -hmm. you have a rule, you cannot imagine it unless you have an example. So you need to see the illustration of this rule in actual practice, unless you cannot figure out what is this, what is this rule? It doesn't make sense right now. Okay, but just one comment about the reason why we call it Iqlab. It's because the meme the noon, sorry, the, uh, the bear rather is changed into, uh, sorry, the noon is changed into a mim. Okay, so you see here, min ba'di, min ba'di becomes min ba'di, min ba'di. Okay, min ba'di. So you see the, the change is actually not written like this, it's not written like this, but it's written like this with a strike on top of it. Min badi, min badi. Okay, let's try to say it together, inshallah. First, min badi. Min badi. Very good. Very good. All right. So, in addition to the change of noon into mim, we are going to make a little ikhfa or hiding. Okay, why? Because we are not going to pronounce it like mim, mim badi. We don't say mim, mim badi. We say mim, mim badi, mim badi. You slightly close your lips. Mim, mim badi. Mim, mim badi. And you pronounce with two harakat. Runa. You remember runa, right? Runa is a nasal sound. Hmm. And it has two harakats, like this. Mim badi, mim badi. Okay. Mim badi, mim badi. Very good. All right. Let's let's have another way to recognize iqlab easily. I told you that for noon sakina, and for tanween, we have actually a, a way to see it visually to see that ah uh, here there is ibhar. Um, uh, excuse me. Yes. Tell me. Uh, sorry. Is it like the kunna sound is the nasalization? So we have to make nasalization here? Exactly. You have to make a nasalization mm -hmm. of two counts. Two counts. Okay. Runa is always two counts, right? So two units. Mimbadi. Okay. Mim so. Mim very good. It's good to practice. Uh -huh. Now, an easy way to visually recognize Iqlab is anytime in the Quran you open the book, the Mus'haf, you will see sometimes there is a small meme on top of the noon like that. You see it, right? That's the sign. That's the indication that there is Iqlab here. So for you, an easy way to recognize Iqlab is to have the meme on top like that, on top of the noon. Okay, mm -hmm. so that's the tip for us for today. We will know there is Iqlab by looking at what is on top of the meme. There is a, on top of the noon, sorry, there is a smaller uh, letter, which is usually the meme, meme value. Okay, now, um, 
when you see it in the Quran, it will be written like this on the right screen, right side of the screen. But when you pronounce it, we said we are going to change the noon into a mean, right? Mm. So you pronounce it with the left side on the left side of the screen. Mm. So listen to the listen to the one on the right without iqlab and listen to the one which should be made into iqlab. Min baini, min baini. Okay? Min baini. That's the one that we have to achieve. All right, look at me, look at me. I'm going to do the one with iqlab and I'm going to count two units. Min baini, min baini, one, two, one, two, min baini. Okay, you want to practice? Min baini. Very good. Inshallah, good job. Min baini. Min baini. Okay, take your time. If you don't do the two haraka, it doesn't count as class. Okay. All right, good job. So the second one, we see it like this in the mushaf with a small meme on top. But this is known second here. If I can take the pen. Oops, wow, we have a laser pointer even. Wow, mashallah, this really cool laser pointer. Uh, but I don't need that. <laughs> Oh, whoops, don't allow. Um, I don't want subtitles, what did I do? I don't want that, all right. I'll go back to the pen and I show you here, there is a small meme here. So it means that this noon transforms into a meme. Okay, because there is a bat on in front of it. Okay, so here we will pronounce it like this. Your lips should be like this. Yes, very good. Your lips should be like this. You don't completely close them. You don't close them completely. Because if you close them completely, you are actually not making ikhfa. You need to make a hiding. So the sound meme is hidden a little bit. Remember two slides ago, if I said to you here, there needs to be some hiding of this sound. Meme. The meme has to be hidden. So your lips shouldn't be completely closed when you say it. You do it like this. There's still a small opening. Okay, so let me read again for you, inshallah. Not that's wrong. The second one I did is wrong. Don't say Okay, you try now. Try. Very good. Okay. All right. So the point, the most important part of this exercise, or the most important thing to remember, um, is to avoid pronouncing noon. And you have to make the meme a little bit hidden. I would say it like this. So don't say, don't say this. Look, listen to me and look at me. Don't say fa'an batna. So you are avoiding noon. You are making it into another sound, the sound meme. And the meme shouldn't be strong, like fa'an batna. You don't say fa'an batna. You say fa'an batna. Okay. So this is just uh, to be careful about it. All right. And of course, don't forget the runa of two units. All right. Don't, you need to add the runa here. Okay. I hope it's clear, inshallah. Now, for tenween, it's the same principle, but instead of noon sakin, 
we have 10 wings. So we have, for example, on the right side, it's written like this, but on the left side, it shows us how it is actually pronounced. Go ahead. Very good, mashallah. All right, second one. Mashallah, good job. Everybody's doing great, alhamdulillah. You got it right the first time, mashallah. Good job. All right, so we don't forget the ghunna, right? The ghunna, you know, brothers and sisters, the ghunna is for you as if you're going to take a seat a little bit for two seconds and relax on that sound like this. I relax and rest for two seconds. All right, ghunna is just for you to stress, or not stress, but pause on that sound and lengthen it a bit mm -hmm. with visualization with the nasalization, right? Because ghunna is characteristic of two sounds only, neen and noon. Okay. So here's an example from the Quran of iqlab. Where is the iqlab? Can you raise your hand and show me or tell me where, on which word? Raise your hand if you know. In this ayah from the Quran. Anyone? Anyone knows? Anyone? Anyone? I'm looking for brothers and sisters. Oh, mashallah. Okay. Arush? 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 There. Yes. Yes. Very good. Mashallah. Good job, huh? That's really nice. So you can see it here. Because we said the rule is like this. Whenever we have known Sakina, or tenwin. That meets meets a that. The result is the sound changes into mean. Okay, so we have a noon sakina that meets a that, and the result is the sound mean. Okay, so let me just uh, clarify this. I don't want to make it hard. Okay, so let's see if someone can recite this ayah with a uh, proper recitation with iqlab for us, inshallah. Anyone wants to volunteer? Raise their hand and tell us. Always. And khizar. Okay, Okay, good. That's good. Anyone else want to try? All right, Jenna. Go ahead, Jenna. You can do it. <laughs> Go for it, Jenna. You can do it. We listen to you. <laughs> Masha'Allah, good job, Jenna. Very nice. All right, we have a third chance. Someone else, I want to give chance to as many people as possible. Raise your hand and tell us, Anas. Try Anas. Anas. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I only heard the last part. I'm sorry. Okay, no problem, inshallah. So, um, good job. So I'll read it for you. فَمَنْ أَعُوذُ بِاللَّهِ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ الرَّجِيمِ فَمَنْ تَابَ مِنْ بَعْدِ ظُلْمِهِ وَأَصْلَحَ فَإِنَّ اللَّهَ يَتُوبُ عَلَيْهِ مِنْ بَعْدِ Suratul Al-Ma'idah, chapter, uh, uh, ayah number 39. So, مِنْ بَعْدِ, مِنْ بَعْدِ with noon, Becomes mim body. Becomes a mim. So noon second is changing into a mim, like we said in this rule here, because there is a ba in front of it. 
Okay, so we have this one. We have just seen it right now, just now. Min body. Okay, and then we have the second one. No. Okay, make sure, make sure you pronounce it with ma, uh, not noon. Don't pronounce noon, right? Don't say fa an batna. Fa an batna. Two lips. Uh, All right. That's the practice. That's enough. Jazakumullah khair. Now, we're going to see another example with Tanween, or rather two examples of the same rule, but this time we're going to see it with Tanween. So, first, let me read the first one. I'll read it a second time. I'll read it a second time. Wait a bit. Go ahead. You can do it now. Okay. Very good, mashallah. Good job. So here, technically, what we should have is a doubling of N. Right? But you only see one. It's just that it's a combination that the Quran is, uh, the script of the Quran or the writing is asking us not to pronounce it as nun, but as min. Okay? And because there's a ba here following the tanween. Okay, so we transform the quality of tanween into a mim sound. Okay, let me read the second one now. Yawma bijahannam. So we have two here and we have another. Okay, listen to me again. I will read it again for you, okay? Focus on the two runa here and the two runa here. Yawma Okay, good job. So since the it's the end of an area. What we do is this becomes a sukun, remember? We don't say jahannama unless we are continuing. If you continue, you make it fatha, but if you stop, it has to become sukun. All right, just for information, inshallah. All right, look, look, mashallah, we have, uh, we have four different ayat, ayat of the Quran. And here we can have all of these ayat have one example of iqlab, mashallah. Now, what is the tip for identifying straight away and fast the rule of iqlab? We can see it here. What did we say that uh, visually, the first thing we can notice is there is something. Always, and Khizar, you can answer if you know. Uh, oh, maybe you don't have your raised hand anymore. Okay, then I will answer, inshallah. So you see here, that's visually the first indication that we can notice. 
of Iqlal. Right. So you can see it in this area, in this area also, the area and the last area. All right. Now, um, because we are such a big group, um, you can actually um, recite it, but please disable your mic because it's very long. And also um, it's gonna be a lot of noises, but I'm gonna read them, but just listen and disable your mic and recite, all right? Just for the sake of having uh, maybe a controlled, uh, controlled input and output, inshallah. All right, so I will start the first ayah from Surah Al-Baqarah. فَقَالَ أَنْبِئُونِي بِأَسْمَاءِ هَؤُلَاءِ إِن كُنْتُمْ صَادِقِينَ I'll give you a few seconds to practice. فَقَالَ أَنْبِئُونِي بِأَسْمَاءِ هَؤُلَاءِ Okay, please, please um, mute your mic so that we don't have too much uh, thing. You just do it for yourself. Okay, the second, uh, yeah. Don't worry, later we will have a chance to practice all together with, um, with all, all of our performance and, you know, uh, output. Uh, the second. لِلَّهِ الْأَمْرُ مِنْ قَبْلُ وَمِنْ بَعْدِ Okay, the third ayah. Wallahu alimun bidati sudur. Okay, now last ayah here. I'm going to say it, inshallah, you can practice after me. Okay, very good, mashallah. All right, so now let's go um, to the next slide, inshallah. Iqlab, we are going to practice now, and we can all do the noise and we practice together, all right? So you can see here, there are some extracts of different uh, ayat of the Quran, all of them with iqlab. And some of them, of course, have the noon sakin. We can see the first one, two, three, four, five ones on the top here. And the, remain the remaining ones, except this one here, um, they actually with tanween. Okay, so I'll recite one. Oh, rather, let's make this even better inshallah i just ask someone and they can try okay so we can have everybody try inshallah let's have jenna jenna raise a hand jenna sorry can i ask you something before you start can yes. you do the first three top one two three these first three can you do them you can do yes. them Mem Bahila Mem Buyu Tihina Mem Buyu Tihina Mem Bati. Very good, Jenna. MashaAllah. Good job. So, Jenna, she respected the two units of uh, Hunna, and we have to make a little ikhfa, right? No, sorry, it's actually Fatha here, not the Kasra. So, okay, or Man Bakhila. Okay, second line. Uh, we have Alispa Aksa. Can you do the second line here, inshallah? Go for it. Mim Bakwaliha Mim Bani Israila. MashaAllah, good job. Very good. Now, just one thing I noticed. Can you recite this one again? The second one. 
من بني إسرائيل. Here you are pronouncing that. Okay, be careful. إسرائيل. Ah, ah. إسرائيل. Can you try? إسرائيل. ما شاء الله. Very good. Even better. الحمد لله. All right. Let's continue. Any other volunteers for the third line, please? Arush. ما شاء الله. Go for it. I'll go to the one who is fastest. أبداً بما لا نصفع بالناسية Okay. Now let me tell you something, Arush. Can you recite this one again? This one, can you try again? أبداً بما Okay. The same thing I told, uh, uh, I think, was it uh, uh, Alisba? Uh, uh, ابدا not ابدا ابدا بما أه 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 ابدا بما excellent this one أبداً the... yeah try again do it again don't worry i'll give you some time لا نصفع بالناسيات okay let me tell you something we have stopped right so this one you change it into a ha. Now see ya. Okay. So when you hear, do you hear the adhan? Sometimes, right? You hear the adhan? Hayya ala salah. Okay. Hayya ala salah. The ta becomes ha, right? If you stop, it's a ha. It's not ta. La nasfa'an bin nasiyah. Okay, so it's not that. If you choose to stop, it becomes a hat. All right, let's go. Next one. Farzana, Sister Farzana. This yeah, sure. line here. Mun fatirum be. Mut ma inum. Sorry, sorry. No, take your time. Yeah. Mut. Mutmainum bil iman. Good job. Mutmainum bil iman. Good job, sister. MashaAllah. Very nice. Okay. Uh, Anas and Sultan, let's go for the fourth, uh, fifth line. Sorry. An bayina. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just heard, heard the last part. Can you do from the beginning? Layyan bi'al sinatihim. An bayyina. Okay. Let me tell you this one. You repeat after me, okay? This one. Let's start okay. with this one. Layyan bi'al sinatihim. Layyan bi'al sinatihim. Very good. And then I will read this one. Ayatim bayinat. Ayatim bayinat. Okay. Now I told you here when it's a ta and you stop, it becomes ha. But for ta maftuha, the open ta, it doesn't become ha, it stays a ta. Bayinat. Okay. So if it's ta, uh, Maghluqa, the closed ta like this, it becomes ha. And if it's ta maftuha, if you stop, it stays ta. Okay. Ayatin bayinat. Ayatin bayinat. Okay, mashaAllah. Uh, who wants to do the last line? Uh, can we ask uh, Marvin, Ahmed? Or did you already participate? Ariba, Ariba, Ariba. Aliba, sorry, Aliba, I didn't see you. Go for it, Shah. An bayina. Mm-hmm. Karya batila. Okay. An bayina. Try again. An bayina. Mm-hmm. So this one, if you stop, becomes ha ha. An bayina. Okay. And this one. Qaryatin batirat, batirat, qaryatin batirat. 
Very good, mashallah. Excellent, alhamdulillah. All right, how to read these? Can you help me, someone? Raise your hand if you know. Okay, Bavi. Um, Bavi, choose not to. Oh, you, um, you. Again? Tom, bit. Tom, bit. Yes, very good. So um, this is the rule, you know? Let's do this one again. Another one, Farzana. Excellent. So here we are just doing the rule, right? Um, anyone want to raise their hand? I give a chance to everybody. Uh, Akhtar. Alright. So it's a kasra, right? Okay, Now here it's tricky because you didn't see the you didn't see the small meme. So this is how they are written in the Quran. Alhamdulillah, the Quran actually helps us the way it's printed, recite it with iqlab because there's always this small meme on top to signal there is iqlab. So the first one is tumbit. Tumbit. The second one is Okay, and here, since it's a short word, I will also read the Fatha because it's such a short word. Because this is not the end of the ayah. Very good, mashallah. All right, now let's see. Now you have to be careful because the, um, the meme is not written in all of the ayat. In some ayat, it's missing. Okay, so. Uh, can we have three different people for these three different lines to read them with the proper iqlab? Let's have a voice for the first one. MashaAllah, <laughs> MashaAllah. Very good, very good, voice. So you can see here he did a good job because he practiced with the ba is a signal, attention. We have to change to mean. Okay. So, Fabi ayi hadithin ba'd Allahi wa ayatihi yu'minun. Okay. Very good. All right. Second person. Uh, let me see. Uh, we have a. Uh, Jannah, for example. Jannah, wahua. Wahua ali mumbi shaki sudu. Very good, Jannah, mashallah. Very good. So, ali mumbi that is sudur. As sudur. Okay, as sudur. Some character printing is not very good here. I don't know why. All right. Excellent. So we have Tanween and we have Ba. So we change the Tanween into Meme. Ali Mo. Ali Mo. Ali Mo. You are preparing to pronounce Meme actually instead of Noon. Right. Okay. Let me see. So did we give a chance to Sayyida Mahvin Ahmed? To recite the third one, can she do it? This one. Laisa alaykum. Raise your voice, I don't hear you. Laisa alaykum. Actually, the voice is cutting. Oh, how come? Is it the microphone's problem? 
Hmm. Okay. Then let's have someone else, maybe. Akhtar, Arispa. Laysa alaykum wala alayhim junahum ba'dahun. Okay, mashallah. You are making all of them. <laughs> this, no, we don't do it here and we don't do it here, okay? This is alaykum wa alayhim, okay? So, laysa alaykum wala alayhim junahum ba'dahun. So here, strategically, this is where it should happen. But here, it's just alaykum wa la alayhim. Yunahum ba'dahun. Yunahum ba'dahun. So it's the, this last part that has Very good. Okay. So, subhanAllah, so fast. Tajweed homework. Uh, what are we going to practice for homework? For next time, you can do Suratul Hamaza. Wailun li kulli humazatin lumazah. All right. You can send it by signal or by WhatsApp. And I will reply to you, inshallah. Okay. If you send me on the same day as the Tajweed lesson, I cannot reply to you. <laughs> but just give me some time and I will do it. So it's chapter 104. You can see it if you have a mushaf like mine that has colors. Uh, there is only one iqlab here in this uh, chapter. And this one is not vi very visible here, but um, because in some uh, masahif, that small meme is not obvious. But in mushaf, Al-Mushaf al-Uthmani, this one, with the script, Uthmani script, you can see it very obviously here. Whoops, what's going on? All right, do you see it? Do you see the iqlab? There's a small meme in ayah number four. Everybody sees it? Mm. Iqlab. Right, okay. I think yes. you can detect it. Alhamdulillah, it's here. Oopa. Sometimes my PowerPoint is playing tricks. All right, you can see it, right? Alhamdulillah. Yes. All right, um, maybe first I recite the whole chapter for you and then we do ayah by ayah, okay? Or should we, do you want to practice everyone does one ayah? Which one do you prefer? Any preference? We do all of us together. Aya by aya, or everyone looks uh, like I ask it's individually people to do um, different ayat. Okay, first let me read it um, for you, inshallah. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem. Okay, first, it's okay. I know you want to practice. <clears throat> Let me first read it all. Uh, I, I complete the whole, I, uh, the whole chapter without uh, you repeating anything. And then we'll do a second time because you need to hear first and then you can repeat it, okay? So first, don't say anything right now. Let me read it and then uh, I will go ayah by ayah, okay? <laughs> okay. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ويل لكل همزة لمزة الذي جمع مالا وعدده يحسب أن ماله أخلده كلا لينبذن في الحطمة وما أدراك ما الحطمة نار الله الموقدة التي تطلع على الأفئدة إنها عليهم مقصدة في عبد ممددة. Okay, just something to keep in mind, inshallah, for this ayah. All of the endings of each ayah. 
will have the sound ha. Ha. Okay, sorry, I'm not very good with writing uh, with the mouse. Um, but you can see the ha. Lama luma zah. Addadah. Akhladah. Alhutamah. Okay? Now, in blue here, you will notice there's uh, one qalqala only. There's only one qalqala here in blue. Uh, sometimes it's good to have the laser, laser pointer. So here there is qalqala, only one. There is one iqlab here. And there are a number of ghunna with noon. One is here. One is here, two counts every time there's two, huh? Innaha, innaha. And you have another uh, one here with mim. Alayhim And another one here. Okay, so let's do ayah by ayah, inshallah. How about that? Let's do it all together. It will be a bit noisy, but alhamdulillah, that's fine because we're reciting Quran. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem. <laughs> don't rush, huh? don't rush. It's not a speedy race. <laughs> Why don't يحسب أن ما له أخلده يحسب أن ما له أخلده يحسب أن ما له أخلده Okay, now pay attention, this is where the إقلاب is كلا لا ينبذن في الحطمة Okay. okay, listen now, listen, I'm going to repeat this again. Only this word. Okay. This is what I'm thinking. Yeah, I, I, it confirmed my thoughts. You are pronouncing a, a strong meme, huh? I told you the meme should be hidden. Okay, I don't want you to say this. I, the mistake is to say No. Okay, it's like this. Look. It's not la yom. Very good. Because, brothers and sisters, inside the club, there is actually a hidden. Did you listen to me, everyone? Listen to me. Important instructions. Stop repeating. Listen, listen. Listen. Inside iqlab there is ikhfa. It means the meme is not a clear, strong meme. It is a hidden meme. Okay, let's continue, John. Okay. Now, Allah, 
Okay, now before we read the next one, I want to tell you be careful. There is te and to. Here there's te and here there's to. Some people say to talio. They make two to. They say alati to talio. Actually, it shouldn't be to to. It should be te talio. Te talio. All right, be careful. All right, I will recite it. Alati te. Okay. <laughs> okay, can I ask a question? I'm the teacher, but I want to ask a question. Is it possible? Yeah. Yes. Uh, sure. What is this here? What is this here? What is this here? Um, see my laser? What's this? You see it? Me, In me. case you want to continue to the next surah. Who said yeah, this? I'm... Is it Anir? Yes. Good job, Anir. But... Beautiful. You're smart, mashallah. But... You know, but there, there are some people. After I... Sorry. I'm sorry, sister. Yeah, there must be continuous with Ba. Yeah, then there is Bismillah ar Rahman Rahim. <laughs> There's the next surah. <laughs> oh. The next surah is Bismillah ar Rahman Rahim, right? So there is a Ba coming after, uh, for sure. You know, there are some oh. reciters who do that. They don't stop at the end of a chapter. They continue the chapter with the next, uh, uh, the next chapter. So they will say something, for example... Um, في عمد ممددة بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. They will continue, and they will do it. Ah. Okay. So, so because the Quran doesn't have an end, actually, it never ends. The Quran is continuous, right? So there is no end to Quran. If you choose to continue with one single breath, of course, it's not possible because we are human, but. If you are able to continue, there is no end to the Quran. Even you stop, unless you continue, go back to Al Fatiha and continue to Al Baqarah, and, right? Um, so that is just the reason why there is a mean uh, with Iqlab uh, from noon to mean there after Tanween. Okay. All right, that's good. You, you really answer the question, mashallah. Do you have any questions? We already finished, subhanAllah, today. We have about an hour of class today. Any questions you can ask me if you want. No, no. no. Thank you for yes. that kind word of yours. <laughs> All right, yes. then let's close, inshallah. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdik. Ashadu an la ilaha lanta astaghfiruka atubu laik. Wa al-asri inna al-insana la fi khusr illa ladhina amanu wa amilu al-salihat. Jazakumullah khayyar. Please make dua for me and I'll also Allah will make dua for you. Uh, the angels will make dua for you and you have the same inshallah and more. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.